And so uh, let's talk about where do the beans come from? How do you choose? Well, it's a really interesting question. So one of the things that we care about the most is the antioxidants in coffee, the CGAs, chlorogenic acids in coffee. So coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in the American diet. And that's not because the American diet is bad, it's because coffee is so high in antioxidants and people drink it every single day. So coffee is the number one source of antioxidants in the standard American diet? That's right. That's fascinating. Yeah, I know, isn't that amazing? It's, <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's very rich in polyphenols. It's wow. like cacao, it's like chocolate. Yeah. It's very rich in polyphenols. And a lot of these spices that are higher in antioxidants, you're not gonna consume as much, but people never forget to take their coffee. And so it's a daily thing. So the first thing that we do is we wanna find the coffee that's highest in antioxidants um, in a particular harvest. And the only way for us to do that is to lab test around 40 to 50 organic coffees and pick the ones that are highest. So we're not driven by a region. We're not driven by looking for a Brazilian coffee or a Honduran coffee or a Guatemalan coffee. We're driven by which coffee in this harvest is highest in antioxidants that's organic and is specialty grade coffee. Coffee, and, and that's how we, we pick the coffee for that for that season. Okay, so you're not really heavily invested in one region. No. Well, like I said, health driven, right? Yep. And you, you, just, you just pick. That's right. We, we, because the amount of antioxidants will vary from region to region and, and um, uh, season to season, and it's just not predictable. So one farm that has very high antioxidants this year yep. may not have high antioxidants next year. Oh, interesting. Okay. So we have to be driven not by the region. If we make every decision based on health, we have to be driven by which harvest, which crop has the highest in antioxidants for that season. And the only way to do that is lab test all of these coffees, which of course no other coffee company does. Right. You know. So this reminds me of wine, mm -hmm. because in the wine industry, it's very similar, right? So there's different regions and different seasons, and those particular type of wines have the highest antioxidants, resveratrol and whatnot, right? Mm -hmm. And so I never really thought of coffee that way. So I think my original idea behind coffee, okay, maybe these particular farms have the highest antioxidants, we'll just stick to these. Yep. But you're saying that can shift yep. from time to time. So that takes a lot of testing, right? A lot. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's, it's one big part of our initial expense starting up this business was just the, the the amount of testing we did because we just didn't have to test our coffees. We had to test 49 of the top brands of coffee in the U.S. to see whether we'd actually how do we compare with those because in a vacuum. It's just, it's, it, the information isn't valid. We had to see how we compared in antioxidants to every other coffee brand from specially grade all the way to the cheap um, Folgers, Macroil House, that sort of thing. Gotcha. And you just keep climbing, climbing, climbing. Let's see, yep. let's see what, yeah. what beans we have and do a comparison. Yeah across the top brands. So. As far as antioxidants, there's no coffee brand that's higher in antioxidants than us. And so we're competing against ourselves to sort of push that top right hand corner to get a better and better coffee. Um, and But it's that's that's fun. I mean, that's the real challenge. So I just feel like everyone should know about this then. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to get the word out there, yeah, right? Yeah, absolutely.